if I were describing my artwork, I like to paint paintings that look like things, but that are also paintings. So in other words, I like to paint cool scenes from real life. Uh, call my artwork pretty cool art because I basically will paint anything that I think looks cool. So I'm inspired by uh, such things as local music, uh, local celebrities, beer, wine, food, entertainment. Uh, frequently I'll see people's pictures on Facebook that I'll ask to paint something there because I see something cool. And I also will do things from movies and TV scenes that I particularly like that I think is cool. Essentially, I like to tell stories and paint in words. Good cast. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I get my inspiration from a lot of places. Essentially, I'll paint anything that I think is cool. Uh, so, for instance, I have a series of paintings that are beer or wine. I've sold many paintings of wine. Uh, I like to do local Austin scenes. Uh, I know many local musicians and Austin celebrities, and I'll paint pictures of scenes that I think are interesting there. Uh, sometimes I've done uh, scenes that are based on lines from songs. So I like my paintings to look like a real thing but also to look like a painting. Uh, what local celebrities have you uh, painted pictures of? I have done paintings of local celebrities such as radio DJ Chris Mosier who's on KGSR in the morning. Uh, Dale Watson has one of my paintings of him in his uh, home. Uh, Aaron Franklin of Franklin Barbecue. And I've done a few paintings of an event that I had at Stubbs Barbecue when the book that I wrote was published, Fire in the Water, Earth in the Air. And several musicians such as Jimmy Dale Gilmore and even Billy Gibbons showed up at that party and I've done a few paintings based on that. Yeah, that, yeah, I've read that book and it's totally awesome. And there's iconic stories going around about your big party up there, the birthday party. What, what, tell us one of those. Tell, tell us how it went down with the uh, ZZ Top guy. When my book was published by the University of Pre Texas Press in 2006, the title is Fire in the Water, Earth in the Air. Uh, some friends from Lubbock were able to secure us uh, some space at Stubbs, and several of the musicians who were in the book showed up to perform. And at one point in the evening, the word was going around that Billy Gibbons was in the room, and do you think he could get up and play? And uh, Billy Gibbons got up on the stage and played with a lot of the famous Lubbock musicians, such as J-Boy Adams and John X. Reed and even Kent Mings. And uh, there's video on the internet right now to prove it if you don't believe me. Damn, all right. I'll jump over there and check it out. What do I put in the search engine? Uh, I think it's West Texas Music at Stubbs. West Texas Music at Stubbs. I think that that would be the easiest way to find it. Kick ass. I'll, I'll check it out this afternoon. Where, Chris, how do people know where to buy your artwork? If you're looking to buy my art, um, I have a website, prettycoolart.com. All the art I do is pretty and cool, and it's pretty cool. So I'm frequently in art shows around the state of Texas. Uh, as a matter of fact, last weekend I was at an art show at the Domain and I sold a couple of my favorite paintings. One of them was uh, based on a scene from the movie Honeysuckle Rose with Willie Nelson. And the other one was a uh, cowboy boot with a Lone Star beer that was originally from a photograph of a friend of mine whose brother was originally from a photograph of a friend of mine whose husband is the drummer for Dale Watson. <laughs> so I sold those paintings not just because of the quality of the paintings but because of the stories that I told the buyers behind them. They're like, we've got to have that Willie Nelson painting. So, uh, I'm frequently at art shows around the state of Texas. I've been at art festivals in San Antonio, in Bernie, in Austin, and coming up this next month I'm going to be in downtown Houston. And next week I'm going to be out in Spice Whip. Awesome, awesome. Hope to, hope to catch that one out in Spicewood.
Hey, thanks for talking to me, Chris.